Welcome to this video. Thank you so much guys. I would like to announce happily that I have reached the huge milestone with reaching 10,000 subscribers of this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your amazing support. This means really a lot for me. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate your views, your likes, your comments and all those stuff. And this really motivates me to produce new videos also regarding and because of your feedback. Here right now we can see the landing page of this YouTube channel and this is really, really amazing reaching the milestone of 10,000 subscribers. Currently I have around about 270 videos published. There will be a lot more, trust me guys, so stay tuned. And especially within here, just look around within this channel. There are so many really, really useful videos, especially for ABAP, for Fiori, for SAP Security, FI, dictionary and all those stuff and these are just the shown playlist so just uh, yeah search within this channel and there are so many great videos out there and yeah if i just click on more here especially uh, down below the, the channel description i also would like to yeah make a little um, reference to my German speaking SAP blog where I also publish a lot of nice articles uh, in German but you can use translator and within there also nice articles are there and this is also great uh, reaching out the 10,000 subscribers milestone because I've started this YouTube channel in the 2nd of November 2022 and after almost two and a half years after that I have reached this milestone and honestly I put a lot of effort into this channel uh, it makes me a lot of fun creating the videos helping you out guys so yeah if you have any feedback if you would like to get to know more about other SAP topics please put them in the comment sections I love to produce new videos and by Santis, this is one special video and really it means a lot of me. I'm really happy to reaching out this milestone and within that I also would like to yeah, give you five SAP tips to improve your daily work with the SAP system that are um, yeah, one of my most um, favorite um, SAP tips. Um, of course, guys, there are a lot more SAP tips and tricks, but these are really, really useful. So, by said this, so um, first of all, let's get into the um, SAP GUI. I would like uh, within the uh, SE80 transaction, so within the object navigator here, you have the possibility to develop new ABAP objects like programs, um, like function modules, um, also like classes and all those stuff. And if you would like to switch between those objects, then of course here you have your folders that you can switch and that you can reach. And you can also open up the different transactions like the SE24 for the class builder, the SE37 um, for the function builder, the um, SE um, 38 for the um, for the ABAP um, uh, program builder, but here basically um, you have everything in one place. Besides switching there, here you have this added object uh, button, and if you know basically how your object um, is being named, then within here you can simply type this in. So, for example, set test demo, and then uh, hit the continue button or hit the enter key. What you also could do is um, click on the enhanced options, and within here you can switch and select different kind of search possibilities. But as mentioned, if you here click to set test underscore demo, then here you can um, distinguish if you would like to open up the program or the transaction itself because two entries are found for this name and I would like to open up the program name itself. Because we are already right now here in the um, SE38 and here the next step is I have already published and produced an own video about this tip is the 
functionality of code templates. So here, basically, um, if I um, move this a little bit to here, here in the bottom right area, there you have this really small button. But if you click on this button, then basically the options will open up. And here you have the code templates section. And here basically you have the possibility to distinguish and to select your different code template. And the code templates are really useful because if you're using code templates, then you can insert the predefined code within here. And um, you can also define with the percentage um, um, sign character a variable so that the variable will be replaced by your input if you're using this code template and this is really useful especially if you would like to um, reuse a lot of kind of ABAP statements so this is really really helpful um, here I have already defined the um, code template with the name block so basically here, if I'm now going into the edit mode, how you can use the code template is just simply typing in the name of the template and then hit the top key on your keyboard. So here I'm typing in block and then the top key and here this pop-up will open up because I would like to replace the entered variable. So here in this case, for example, this is a test or guys, uh, thank you so much for your support and then you can uh, click on the OK button or hit the enter key and then here um, as you could see the variable um, will be replaced by the input and your coding will be inserted directly into the ABAP editor. So this is um, also really really useful and this is what I am using on daily basis and here. So then what is also really important is that within the SAP GUI um, or for example, if you would like to get to know the kind of ABAP statements, then you can just um, click on the different statement and then hit the F1 key. That's directly the ABAP keyword documentation will open up within the um, selected statement. And then you can basically look around within here. What you also can do is within the um, transaction code, you can enter a um, term to open up this documentation. This is ABAP DOCU, so D O C U. Um, probably you have to put in slash O upfront because um, this either would be open up a, a transaction code. So, and then you have opened up the ABAP keyword documentation where you can buy, basically search for different ABAP statements. Uh, within here, you could also search directly within the ABAP keyword documentation within this pop-up. And what you can also do is you could enter um, ABAP help. And if you enter ABAP help, then you can directly open up this pop-up and you can enter different search terms to search within the ABAP documentation. So these two are uh, really useful on a daily basis. I've already showed you the F1 help. If we, for example, go into one transaction like the Miro for posting uh, incoming uh, invoices and then within one input field you can always use the f1 key the f1 help and therefore you have to set the focus into one input field on one text or whatever and then hit the f1 key on your keyboard and then here the performance assistant will open up we have a lot of useful functions within this toolbar like also the technical information and this is guys really helpful i'm using this trick this functionality almost every day to directly search what kind of table is behind this field what kind of field name does it have what kind of data element is being used also for batch input you could use um, or research those information 
And if you double click on one data element, then you will go to the ABAP dictionary, the SE11, and then you can uh, um, yeah, make some research on the data element, on the domain with double click forward navigation to see basically what kind of fields are available behind that and so on. So this is really, really useful. What also you can use is if you would like to search for different transaction codes, then you can go to SE93 transaction. This is the transaction to maintain transaction codes. And here basically you can search for some transactions, like for example, you could also um, open up um, set test underscore demo, or you could also make a wildcard search to uh, use asterisk or the plus sign, and then you can analyze it within here. And this is how you can um, yeah, um, search for existing transactions. Um, the other way around, what you can also do is open up the data browser, SE16, SE16N, or SE16H transaction codes. And within here, you can also enter the TSTC this is the table containing the relevant information for the transaction codes or the table TSTCT. This is basically the text table. Um, and within here, you can enter a language. So for example, um, EN, and then you can search for um, some phrases, tests. Keep in mind that those phrases are case sensitive. Um, but basically within here, you could once again un, uh, enter your transaction code and then execute this and then you will find the relevant information in here as well. So those were five really important um, yeah, functionalities and tips and tricks I'm using on a daily basis. And guys, um, if I've finished my work within the SAP system, there's one command I'm entering in the command field, in the OK code field every day a lot and this is slash nex if you enter this command within the ok code field within the sap gui then directly all of the windows all of the sessions will be ended within this sap system uh, without being asked so keep in mind that if you would like to save some settings some um, some tasks then do this before entering this command but if you've done if you would like to exit your work then enter this command and then as mentioned every um every um yeah window will be closed and by sad this once again thank you so much for your amazing support i really appreciate this and yeah if you have any questions left please put them in the comment sections please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video